Hi, welcome to Django's Garage, Broken Dreams as always. I'm here down at John Ashley Cars in Rotherham. They are a Lotus TVR Alpine and Venturi specialist. And we have a Lotus Colton in. This one's been in for some sills, some other general maintenance jobs on the car and a service. It also has a broken center armrest cubby box lid. This is very common on the Lotus Colton. The hinges break on the plastic due to people pulling them up the wrong way and the age of the plastic has gone off. We remanufacture these plastic lids. So I'm going to go through some ways of changing the lid basically and show you how easy it is. And if you'd like to order one, please get in touch. Right, we're inside the car now. This is where the lid normally sits. Some people tend to pull them up the front, which breaks the hinge. And some people pull them up from the other side, which breaks the hinge. So you can see why it gets broken very easily. So what we're going to do is remove the leather pad, take the plastic off, remove the magnet and fit the new plastic lid and stick it all back together and clip it back in. If your lid comes off really easily, it just pulls out like this one does, just make sure there's no plastic parts of the hinges still actually connected to the little uh, rods where it clips onto and then you're good to clip the new one in. Right, on to the next job, removing the leather pad. Right, we're over at the bench now. We want something like a little thin, sort of, I don't know, call it spatula scraper. Maybe a bent one, maybe a flat blade screwdriver. This will peel off the plastic lid from the leather pad. So, let's have a look. You can see this one, fairly easy to split apart. Just carefully insert in, slide down the back. It's only glued on, so you just move it around, but gentle with the lever. Looks like it's held on with double sided tape this one, some are glued on, some are double sided tape. Let's give it a little twist. There you go, it's going. Nearly gone. You can see in there it's just double sided tape. There you have it, two halves. Next job, get this little magnet out here. Right, so removing the little magnet clip. I find putting a socket there, rest it on there, and just give it a little tap. That slowly drifts the magnet out. You can see there. And use a little bolt to push it all the way through. One magnet removed from the old lid. Right, we've got the magnet pressed in now, it just pushes in with your thumb. The panel's all trimmed down, it fits really well. And we're going to find some uh, double sided tape or some silicon sealant glue which will hold this onto here. That's the next job. Right, we've uh, glued this now to the leather pad. It's a lot neater done now, there's no peeling up leather. So let's go and stick it in the car and we'll see how well it looks. Right, we're in the car now, we've got the pad. So all you have to do is get the hinges and line them up with the rod. Quite easy to do. You hear a click. That's it. Easy as that. It now won't come off unless you force it off. But it clicks down, it looks lovely. Back to how the Lotus Colton should be. So hopefully this owner now will be happy that he's got his armrest 
working and it's not wobbling around and rattling while he's driving the car. And also, we'll be doing some more videos soon on other Lotus Colton and little bits of trim we're remanufacturing for the back wheel arch. And we'll show you uh, how to install them and how good they look. So please keep watching Django's Garage and please subscribe for new videos, more broken dream cars I own. Thank you. Cheers.